ask everyone to rate themselves on the scale of one to ten. So let's do that. Ten. <clears throat> um, Kiko, so okay, we'll start with you. Go ahead. Ten. A fat fucking ten. A fat fucking ten? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying what everybody in the comments is going to say. And be like, oh yeah, she's a fat fucking ten. <laughs> like, great. <laughs> You know, the thing is, is that people that are overweight like that, morbidly obese like that, they tend to make fun of themselves before anybody else can. And it, she said it right out of her mouth. I think that's a big sign of uh, insecurity. You should never make fun of yourself. Just go out and fix what needs to be fixed so you can feel better about yourself, but never put yourself down um, at other people's uh, joy, enjoyment. You know what I'm saying? Don't make fun of yourself. You know, that's not going to make you feel better. You're just trying to deflect what's coming your way. But that stuff is still going to come your way. And you're going to resent yourself for making fun of yourself. I mean, I have a history in, you know, health and fitness. And I've helped a lot of people lose weight and, and do all that type of stuff. And that's that's one of the worst things you can do. Is there a comma somewhere in in that statement? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. What was said was said. Okay. Yeah. I said what I said, and I meant what I said. Okay. Period. Yeah. Um, On I'll a scale of one to eight. ten. Ten. Answer were you a, the same. Were you a ten last time? Yeah, I was a ten okay. last time. Billy Ray. Um. We should have waited till Deborah was back, but we'll come back to her. I feel like I'm a six point seven. Dude, why the fuck would you yeah, ever say something like that? Physically that. or overall? Oh, I'm factoring everything in. Really? Yes. With everything factored in? Um, uh, you know, if on. I were to rate it, baby. Sorry. $200. Thank you, Martin. Deborah, no long-term commitment, but we can make an agreement. She's in the back. You'll sign a NDA, grow your hair out a bit, convert away from Judaism. <laughs> I'll coach you to speak a little less. She's not even here. Imagine her hearing this in the bathroom. And you and my girlfriend can compete for my affections. <laughs> uh, m yo, Marquavius, I'll I'll trigger it again once she's back. Um, so don't worry about that. Thank you, though. Go ahead, Deborah. Or sorry, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Deborah. Um, what do you feel like you could improve on? Toasty, I know to bring you ain't you talking. Six point seven to like an eight or a nine. I feel like my fitness is lacking. Okay. Um. Let me stop this right here before this goes on. I just want to say it is extremely attractive to men to see women be modest and be honest. Now, if I were to rate her, I would say that she's probably a seven with improvements, eight, eight and a half or something like that because she's attractive. But the fact that she did not say 10 and she's trying to be really honest about the situation, that is very appealing to men. Unlike these other, other delusional tens and nines and all of that. She's probably one of the, well, she is one of the most attractive women on that panel, but she didn't rate herself a 10. Take notes. Also look what she has on. Now you can see some of her chest, but you can't see too much of it. Look at the dress she has on. Look at her hair. She looks kind of simple, but it's it's still attractive and it's still beautiful. You don't have to be out there showing everything and rating yourself a 10, inflating your value to make men accept you. The best thing you can do is just be honest like she's being. Okay, one point. Fitness is lacking? No, my appearance, I'm not a 10. Fitness is lacking? Wise. I disagree with into the, the mic. Into have. the mic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I disagree with the ratings people have given. Do you know thoughts. where the rating scale comes from? It's supposed to be if you line up ten random men and you ask mm -hmm. them, "Would you f her?" And they would say yes or no. Nope. That's originally where it came from. That's not how. Nope. That's what? not how okay, that where it works. From? Where tell me. Well, now, I'm being. Rating, the I'm, ten rating scale. How educate me where it came from. That's you know. not how if that you know, works. Works. tell me. Tell me. Well, just think about. Tell me. Think about it intuitively. If a ten is like a perfect woman, like absolutely maxed out attraction. Ten is supposed to be on physical. It's supposed to be on physical. Attraction so if we're only. Talking, we're not if supposed we're to talk about personality. Attraction, yeah, yes. if we're talking just physical attraction, 10 is like the most attractive woman you could possibly imagine. Yes, it's 10 out like of 10 anything. for a reason because you're lining up 10 and you're counting how many points are you getting. That's you know, it's funny because you got so so many women like her that try to act so smart, but she doesn't even know what the 1 to 10 rating is. She thinks it's lining up men and saying, what do you think? What do you think? And what do you think? It's wow. But she's, she's smart, though. 
That's why. What, it's, what do you mean you're lining up ten? Where like does lining up to, ten women come into this? No, I'm saying ten men, like or opposite gender of you. I mean, opposite gender of you. You're supposed to be. It's the point is. You tracking with this? Debra, you where, where did it come from then? Tell me. Tell me where it came it's, from. It's, it's just, it's like, like, okay, what are you, like, if you're a five, then you're like very, like, average. Yes. If you're like an eight. Because five out like, of ten people would, would be with you. No, that's not that's what, what that's it, not, that's not what it is. No, it's, I'm just, not, say, I'm saying how many people a, would be with you. It's, it's, it's not how many people would be with you. It's like, like ten is physical perfection. Yes. I understand Wait, that. Okay. I'm not disagreeing with that. Not because <laughs> 10 guys would sleep with you. Like, you could have a girl who's like a 7, and 10 guys would, would all sleep with her. It, but that doesn't I mean did, that she's a 10. Yeah, like, I didn't of, factor in that, thank you, who life. would sleep with me in my rating. We're, ta yeah, yeah, no, we're talking it's not, about off of attractiveness. It's not about how many men would sleep with you. Okay, thank you. We're talking about attractiveness. Mm -hmm. You truly believe on a skill base that you're a 6.9. She said 6.7. 6.7, yeah. That honestly would make you a six in my eyes because that's, it's your, Con your her, confidence her, level. You're, no, you're, you're down on yourself. Wait, you just look. No it's, it's purely just based looks. on physical attraction. I know. You're saying uh, her humility Eric, brings her down? It's a fucking Hold joke. on, guys. It was a joke. Uh, Ad block is, you got to <laughs> Thank you. close that. And I was talking yeah, to her. Audience F11. still see us? Yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay. No, compared. She said that she's a 6.7 and she said, I would rate you as a, a six. Did you ever like go to school? Don't you know you're supposed to round up to the, you know, the highest number? You're not supposed to go down when it's like past five. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But again, she's very smart, guys. To um, all of the women in w the world, I'm the rating chat. myself on that scale. Me and compared to every yeah. woman in the world. Yeah. I feel like yeah. it'd be the yeah. same if you said you're a perfect 10 that people are always going to hate. So I think it's well just go okay, with what delusional. So, truly believe. Kiko, going back you know? to this whole, if you lined up 10 people and if they all wanted to sleep with you, that makes you a 10. Okay, so they all found you attractive. I was just trying to, I was just going. Yeah, but that's a binary, so, yes or no. Yeah. Are they attractive? However, yes. there's degrees to attractiveness. Exactly. That's why it's supposed to be like ten random people, like maybe from all over the world, like not just ten people from San that's, Francisco or that, just ten people from LA. That's I've the way to. I've never heard this. Yeah, I've never heard that Look either. It up. That's not. Look it up. Okay, well, that's <laughs> not <laughs> what we <laughs> mean. <laughs> Google, where you look up anything else? Being, if you use that still, y'all. Okay, no, it's just, like it's like this. It's, it's like this. degrees. It's the hottest it's possible degrees. Victoria's Secret model. Just it's physical. Hold on. Just physical perfection is a. 10, how might you compare yourself to her? Do you think Ten. Do you, you think you're like the most attractive <laughs> specimen that's ever walked this earth? I wouldn't say there's, oh, there's not, is there not people On who are- On par with the most attractive can specimens I answer? that have ever walked this earth? Can I answer? We give you permission. Thank <laughs> you. Um, I mean, he's like, keeps shooting things. I mean, hasn't really let me respond. Just Sorry. Just go, go ahead, go ahead. Um, go ahead. Yes, but is that saying that there's only one ten in the world? There's not no, only one no, no, ten. There's no. multiple tens in the world. That's not. How, and I'm, not I'm, I'm up. Saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying yes. The TikTok I has gotten into your brain, Kiko. I don't use TikTok really. You have a TikTok called Rage Quit Kiko. I know, but I just made that. I have like 900 followers. So what, yeah, how is 900 famous. followers getting you're to my famous, head? Kiko. Oh, thank you, Brian. Okay, that I've never heard that. I wish What's you had explained that before, but that's not how you define. That's what a ten it, right is. there. Sh Sean Mays. Thank ten, you. Ten, perfect. Thank you, Nine, very beautiful. Eight, beautiful. Seven, very pretty. Slash ten. handsome. Six, so you're six, pretty handsome. Five, average. Four, below average. Three, unattractive. Two, very unattractive. One, hideous. Now, if you look at number six, number six says pretty handsome. That's average. There's nothing wrong with being average. I don't know why women have such a hard time being average when average doesn't mean that you're ugly. But you want to inflate that up to a 10. You're not on par with the top supermodels. You're not. And that's fine. I'm not on par with the top supermodels that are men. I wasn't on par with them when I was 20. It is what it is. Everybody is not going to be at that level. Just accept who you are and get in where you fit in and you'll be just fine. Wait accordingly. Hashtag Christ is Lord. Let's go. 10. So you think you're like physical Billy, you're not a 6.7. All things Kiko, concerned. you're a 10 in delusion. You don't want me to tell what you are, Dis Brian. That's right. Well, I don't think das I'm right. a 10. I know that. I would hope not, but that's not I what don't I'm think saying. I mean, overall, you don't want me to tell what you are. So I heard I got a super chat while <laughs> I was Keith gone. Yeah. Wait, before, <laughs> let's, before let's we get, get to back that, to my chat. Yeah, before we I get want to that, it to be we about were, me. We were rating. <laughs> no, we are. Yeah, yeah. We're going to make it about you. We were rating ourselves on physical attractiveness. What would you give yourself out of 10? Oh, I don't know if I want it to be about me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just, really, just answer honestly. Purely um, physical. They, they, like, purely almost, physical? Almost all of them on that side gave themselves purely tens. Physical. Yeah, I'd say like 
8.8 because like there's always more beautiful people in the world but like i know I is that a f- reference but you're not 8.8 though first of all you got to take off that makeup see men we like to rate women from on that scale when they're bare and they don't have any makeup it's just natural complete beauty so before you ladies keep uh rating yourself tens take off the makeup Post that and ask men, rate me from one to 10, and then you get some honest answers. A lot of women have natural beauty, but they cover it up. And a lot of times they put so much makeup on their face, they start looking like drag queens. Prince. Are you asking me that because I'm Jewish? Because f- you. No, <laughs> but 8.8. 8. 8. All right. 818 8. 8. 8 is Kendall Jenner's horrible tequila. Bro, do you, think, do you think a Jew is making a Hitler reference on your show? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I told you that before I sat Hitler down. Jews, are, Jews get the pass to make the Hitler joke. But we then don't. Then why are you so offended? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just so you guys know, don't make any comments like that on, on this video about Jews or anti-Semitic comments and all that. You will be blocked. That's not what this video is about. You got your third if Jewish or something? Pass, why are you so offended? I'm, I'm not offended. What do you mean? You sounded pretty offended. Is that a Hitler reference? No, I wasn't offended. Okay. Why was I? Were you excited? No, I was just, I was making a joke. <laughs> okay. It's a joke. Eight point God eight. damn. I don't know. I think there is an objective attractiveness for people. And I think a lot of that is like the beauty standard. Jesus. Actually, because I wasn't here for the beginning part, a lot of it comes from the golden ratio. People yes. whose face is the golden ratio and yep. they're symmetrical, that is what attractiveness is. Yep. That's why when we see things, we're like, that's aesthetic. It's aesthetic to everyone because there's certain things that are pleasing to the eye, like having matching face, a strong jawline, things that, that's what makes things beautiful. Golden ratio yep. goes yep. back to like ancient days. Yep. So mm-hmm. I think in that sense, um, I have some of those things, but also like, I don't know who I could name as a perfect 10 because for me at least, it's objective. It's hard with looks because I think pers- like if you're an ugly person, you could be so hot, but I will see you as a one because if you're a bad person, it's hard. That's why like with the person who's like, when, you op- when someone opens their mouth, they drop 10 notches and like, I am a lot about who you are on the inside also determines how I feel about you on the outside. We're not talking about that. We're talking about looks only, looks only. Women love to try to then kind of slide in that who you are on the inside. We're not talking about that. You can see the most attractive person you've seen in your life, but as soon as they open up their mouth, they're unattractive to you. But we're not talking about that. We're strictly talking about the scale from one to 10 of attract physical attractiveness. Yes, this is very true. Also respect for being an aesthetics respecter. And the golden ratio reference, that is, that is what underlies that is, true that, yeah. beauty. Beauty is objective in my opinion. That's how they built all the beautiful ancient ruins by using that ratio. So if it's still beautiful us nowadays, I think it will uh, stand the test of time Symmetry and the way body positivity Chase, will not. Are which are any girls, Chase, this? are any girls at this table of 10? <laughs> no. Okay, what do you have to say my about dad. that? I thought we were rating ourselves factoring Looks, like, it's just looks. I, oh. I feel like I'd have a different answer if we what? were just saying just that, looks. That's, that was the question. See, and I'm the opposite. Well, I would have a different when, answer when, if it was overall. When they asked, like, You'd rate yourself out of 10, was I wasn't overall. thinking, like, just looks, just, like, yourself, like, as a person. Yeah, no, oh, you're just your physical appearance. Do you want me to re-answer? Yeah. I would say, like, 7. Oh, okay. All right. What about for you? Still 10? Not just a 10, a fat F-ing Hey, she's 10. a baddie all around. Baddies are, it's a full-time job. <laughs> certified. I mean, certified. I still think <laughs> I'm a fucking certified baddie 10, whatever. But, like, I'm also not going to come for anybody who has a preference. Like, it is what it is. Like, in my, in some people's eyes, I'm probably, like, a 1. In some people's eyes, I'm a fat fucking 10. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I'm still a fucking Is there a 10. comma I'm, in that know. sentence? Okay, just. I feel like um, no one would date someone they didn't think was a, or at least marry someone yeah. that they didn't think was a 10, because like, why would you want to be with someone that you're like, I could find hotter. But don't you think it is delusional to consider yourself a 10? For those of you who rated yourselves a 10. No. No. Whether in appearance or total package. I, no. I don't think it's like think thinking it's that you're the perfect delusional. person, but yeah. just being like confident. Dude, yeah. any, any like, person who says... I am a 10 is basically saying I have zero room for improvement. I'm perfect. That's not what I, I said. I said no. 10 that's is what perfect. I hear though. Okay. That's, but that's what I why hear. I I and I think it's delusional for improvement. But this is what he just, when we just, when she said that I clarified, if we would ask about our overall personality person as we are as a whole, I wouldn't give myself as a 10, but as attraction level. Yeah. I'm pretty, I'm 
peak athleticism. I'm pretty symmetric face. I would give myself a 10 right now. I'm not. Your peak if, athleticism? My sorry, peak. <laughs> what's your forty yard dash? <laughs> yeah, what's your peak, forty yard? How many pull ups uh, can you do? What, what, how, how would you word it peak better, fitness. Sam? Peak fitness. I'm at, I'm you almost at my peak fitness. Nice. Not yet. I would That's say. I would say so. Yeah. So I would give myself a ten in that way. I'm not improving because you're just saying, oh, you could always. You're saying you can't be better. Yeah, I can improve. Maybe my personality things about me, but far as looks wise, there's not much improvement that's happening unless I get some outside help. I talking do about think plastic surgery. I would not get plastic surgery. I think I've only gotten hotter with time. I'm you just going to be honest. You think I would get plastic surgery, yeah. Brian? <laughs> Wait, Brian, you Same. think I would get plastic like surgery? like fine wine. What mm-hmm. can I say? You think I would get plastic surgery? What would I, I change? Huh? What would I change I think, myself? I think we should move on. I think we should move on. I think we should. I think we should. Let's get to Let's read Deborah's super chat. I want to know, Sam, what would you rate yourself physically out of 10? Physically out of 10, because I'm like 5'8", I'm like a 5'. I think I have a handsome face. It's like a 7. But because I'm so I'm so sure I should just join the circus, I'm like a 5. <laughs> however, however, what, all would you, thing, what would you do in the circus? I would be the short guy. a woman and be a bearded woman. <laughs> yeah, but Sam, you're really you're physically fit, exactly. right? You're like super physically fit. So doesn't that boost you up a bit? He, you mean like in terms of physical attractiveness? Yeah, you're physically not only fit is guy. he physically fit, but he's a stone cold killer, bro. You yeah, see him on you're the like, jiu-jitsu are you a black belt Honestly, in jujitsu? I'm not a black belt, but I'm gonna be subbing some black belts this weekend, bro. Let's go, okay. let's Boom. go. Uh, but no, yeah, I would say, okay, like physically, I'm, I, I would say like more like a six, but no, you don't agree, Kiko? What am I on a 10? No, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to say that. I just think it's huh? terrible to say that about yourself. I well, would never want to date a man I who think just because a realistic appraisal. Yeah, it's just humility. What is your boyfriend? But I'm not himself? finished. What is your I don't boyfriend? know. You probably rate himself a 10, and I know he's a 10. He's can, fine. Can you text him? Text him and then go ahead. I, I would say to... all things considered, because we're just doing physical attractiveness, but I don't want to do that because as a man, you provide value. There's so much more to a man's personality uh, or to a man than just how he is. I mean, I've heard from women that depending on a man, man's personality, his like physical frame literally changes for them when he owns who he is and when he brings the right energy. You know, another thing is that men don't walk around rating themselves. Men don't walk around saying, yeah, even in their, even in their thought process, I'm a seven, I'm an eight, I'm a 10. No, because men, we don't base our value on how we look. We base our value on what we've acquired, what we've built, our success and our status. So it's completely different. I think that a lot of women tend to rate themselves higher because they want to be seen as the top cream of the crop. But the thing is, most women are average. And it's nothing wrong with being average. Now, this girl on the right here, she's okay looking. She's not ugly or anything like that. But she also has some other things that men raise eyebrows about. She's got the tattoos. She's constantly talking over people. Um, she definitely has an attitude. So, all of that combined, you know, it, it lowers your, 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 you know, your value in the sexual marketplace. See, a lot of women just tend to think that men only care about how women look and all men want to do is have sex. But when you're talking about a committed relationship, there's a lot more that goes into that. So you can be beautiful. You can be a 10, but you can also be rotten. So I think the best thing is just to have a little bit of humility and say, you know what? I know I'm not the best in the world. I'm not not the most attractive woman in the world, but I'm me and I'm taking uh, pride in that and I'm going to be the best person that I can be. And I'm, you know, I'm going to work on my physical appearance to look as much as good as I can. You know what I mean? But to, to just say that you're a 10 just because you want to make yourself feel better. And another thing, um, if you notice when women break that code and say they're not a 10, they get attacked by all the women that say they, they're a 10. You know what I'm saying? So even like the the one right there on the, on the far left, she's more attractive than the women that are on her her left, right? Or on the right side of the screen. But they down her. And that's another reason why they say something, because they want her to be superficial in the same way. Girl, rank yourself a 10. And if you don't, something's wrong with you. How could you even dare rank yourself below a 10? This is the type of delusion that is ruining a lot of women because they can't even be honest with themselves. And if you can't be honest with yourself, how in the hell can you be honest with somebody else? So in that sense, I would say an eight because I'm not yet where I want to be in life, uh, but I'm getting there. I totally agree. And that's something that 
I don't know if it's just like I'm the only person in the history of the world to ever feel this way. It's probably unlikely, but I have not met any other people really close to me that have had this same experience. It's very rare for me to find a guy and be like, he's so hot, like just off the cup, seeing off the cusp, seeing him like across the room, be like, wow, that guy is like a perfect 10. I think that's half that just people are very ugly these days because they don't take care of themselves. But also I definitely am somebody that like the more I am attracted to somebody's personality, the hotter they look to me. And someone who, if I just looked at them and I was like, oh, there are seven. If I started talking to them and found out that they were like a really great man of God, strong personality, very masculine, I'd be like, wow, in my eyes, he's a 10. And I feel like everyone should feel that way about their partner. They may have the objective looks, but when you get to know them, their total person is a 10. Base. Well, see, the thing is, is that women don't, um, look at looks when it comes to men as the determining factor if they want to be with them. That's why she mentioned how they are, their attitude, who, who they are as a person. That is what really, and of course their compliment, accomplishments, you know, where they're at in their life, that is what really makes you attractive uh, to, to, to men for most women, right? But for men, it all starts with that attraction it all starts with how the woman looks that is the first thing that we look at because we are visual creatures and that's what we see we look at women and we say look at her hourglass figure um look at her long hair look at these things that are appealing to me because you know subconsciously we're thinking about how would my kids look you know how is she gonna look on my arm all those type of you know, type of things. Men think about those type of things. So it starts out with the looks, right? But then it has to develop into something else. For women, it it probably doesn't start out with the looks. It It's everything else. And then you build from there. So it's a difference. And I think the sooner um, both sexes, especially women, can understand that we do not see things the same way when it comes to you know, the sexual marketplace, the better off it'll be um, for them because the more they keep up this delusion that they're tens, the more and more men uh, look at them like you're delusional. You're not being honest. And like I said before, if you can't be honest with yourself, you can't be honest with the man that you're with. And that's what I was going to say to you when you said like, why would you want to date someone that's not physically a 10? Yeah. And it's like, well, all things considered, you have to look at their values and you have to look at everything else. Like, Ideally, you're not going to date anyone below like an eight and you're going to be at that point You're like you're really attracted to someone who's an eight and then mm -hmm. working on that You can be even more attracted to them based on how their personality is and how yeah. they how you compliment the one combination another. That's but, what but I let saying. me let me ask you something when you look at a guy and this is for anyone can answer when you look at a guy is like what makes him physically attractive kind of having a more feminine beautiful face to you or is it having like more of a rugged like masculine look because I've seen girls sit, look at like Timothy Chalamet and look at like these guys that look like they have like they have defined bone structure and their aesthetic and they have the golden ratio but they just mm. come off they just they have like a skinny they're neck too and they're, that they're ugly they're, what? they're, they're too perfect that they're rocks. ugly Hold no, on, let's go one by one. I feel like I feel like yeah. teen, you know? like teenage girls, like yeah. those like Timothy Chalamet like type guys. Softies. But once once they like grow older, they like the like more, more masculine. masculine. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.